What's up guys? Today, I'm gonna be doing a little oyster mushroom picking. Um, for those of you that don't know, oyster mushrooms are probably one of the most common wild mushrooms. Uh, you can find them pretty much all around the world. And here in central Canada, where I typically look for and typically find oyster mushrooms are on elm trees. Um, typically, kind of along rivers, uh, along little creeks, inside the city. Uh, that's where I tend to look for, uh, for oyster mushrooms. And uh, yeah, I found a, found a spot here with a ton of elm trees kind of just off the, off the river here. And I've kind of been wanting to pick it kind of for a while now and thought I'd take a drive down and see what we can find. So yeah, ton of elm trees around me and uh, let's give it a shot. So probably the trickiest thing about oyster mushroom picking is they often grow super high on the trees. You can sometimes find them lower. Um, but yeah, that's probably the main issue is that they're often super high up on the trees. So I kind of came up with, actually I shouldn't say I, my dad came up with this idea to uh, basically take a golf ball retriever and well, I'll just show you guys uh, so it makes a bit more sense. Basically, we got a golf ball retriever here that extends a very long way. And uh, we basically just took off the top of the golf ball retriever and added a blade. Super convenient, um, super dangerous though at the same time. But uh, yeah, definitely works wonders. So uh, that's kind of the, the key for, for mushroom picking or oyster mushrooms in particular, because they are super high up. Um, so if you guys do kind of want to start oyster mushroom picking, I definitely suggest, I don't know, creating something like this. So basically, unless you enjoy climbing trees or are good at climbing trees, uh, which I'm not, that's what I kind of suggest doing. That's kind of how we have been picking mushrooms now for five, six, seven, eight, nine years that are, uh, are kind of higher up in the trees. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna look around and hopefully find a few. Stay tuned. Super dark, hopefully you can see this one. Boom, right in the middle. And a couple more over here. So you guys get the point. Uh, as I kind of said in my other mushroom video, once you find one, you generally find a whole bunch. Now the only problem with this is that I'm usually picking with my dad or someone else so I have someone to catch them as I cut them. Um, yeah, this might be a bit more difficult, but uh, let's see how it plays out. As you can see, she's a little tough to uh, cut and catch at the same time, but basically off of two branches side by side. Just beautiful, beautiful, clean oyster mushrooms. Um, one way to detect to oyster mushrooms is they have that kind of unique shape generally on the top that kind of brownish tinge and they're scaly underneath as you can see and they have that nice white interior kind of where it evens out from 
the gills to the sponge. And sometimes you'll get oysters that kind of warmed out, just like any other type of mushrooms that can happen to. But uh, generally, for the most part, if you find oyster mushrooms at the right time, they're uh, minto. So, anyways, let's keep looking. Not sure if this is uh, legal or ethical to walk around with inside city limits, but. She's the best way to cut mushrooms. Probably should not be videoing this and cutting at the same time, but. Nice, fresh. Beautiful oyster mushroom. <laughs> Look at that beautiful thing. Found a couple other ones. These ones might be a challenge solo. Um, see if I can show you guys these ones here. I brought my short ones today, so. Couple nice big ones right there. That took longer than expected. <laughs> we got it all. Just in a few pieces, but she's still good to go. As you can see, you would honestly never in a million years get that mushroom unless you had some sort of a cutting stick like that. So uh, yeah, obviously something like that helps a tremendous amount and uh, you wouldn't be able to get them without that so that's why i suggest getting something like that but uh whew. so unfortunately i haven't really found a ton more um I'm gonna see on the way out here if i can somehow get on these trees that were kind of just outside this person's property there was probably about five or six for sure on there look like nice decent sized ones too um but if not, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, let me know if you have any other questions about any other mushrooms or oysters or where to look, where to, you know, where to find them, how to cook them, um, what other mushrooms you guys want to uh, want, want to know about, want to see me pick, and uh, yeah, um, make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, hope to see you guys at the next one. Stay tuned. Ready for this? Oh, look at all that goodness. Right there. Come on, focus. Do I grab him? Do I go grab him? I think we go do it. I think we do it. No one's probably gonna eat them. Might as well do it. How good is that one? Wow. Well, got two of them at least. Two nice ones. There's a third one up there that's pretty high up. So, not gonna bother. That is a good way to end it. Right on that nice old elm tree. You can see one more high up there. Right there. But. Do it in the video. Like, subscribe. Wait for the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.